Dead Are you looking to add something different to your South Florida zombie crawl costume on, on October 20th? Well, we've got a really cool idea for you that's super easy to do at home. So if you're going as someone dressed up, a little bit more fancy, or hey, you're bringing a date or bringing one of your friends, you can surprise them or surprise yourself with these really cool kind of corsage zombie looking flowers. We think they're really neat to add to different costumes in your hair, on your wrist. Hey guys, if you want to do a suit, you can even tuck it into your lapel. So this is how you make them. You take one dried flower or fake flower, whatever you prefer, and then you need some black paint, some red paint, put it out, some ribbon, doesn't have to be Halloween. If it's not, could be even better because obviously you were taken as a zombie by surprise. And then you're gonna need some paint brushes for your black and your red because it's easier to put on that way. So the kind we're making today is like this. It's kind of got this style, a um, little distressed, kind of gross. It's kind of the look we're going for. So you're gonna take your flower right here, beautiful white fake flower. And you're gonna cut a piece of ribbon, like so. We kinda of like this string because it's got a little stretch in it. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna tie it around the base like you would a corsage, like something that you had taken to prom or, or you know, if you were ever in a wedding, something like that. So you're just gonna wrap it around on each side and make sure you get the bottom because sometimes when you cut fake wire flowers, the tip can be a little sharp. So like so keep it unwrapped and then you're going to do the other half wrap it up so you kind of cover the base because yes we know it's a fake flower but you know sometimes it's the illusion that helps so you're going to go up like that and then come back down so you meet them both in the middle and tie it off now this isn't the most important part it's kind of like you know Antina like adding a hair clip to your hair at the end of the day it just adds a little something extra the most important part is the colors because you want to make sure they're vibrant and bright and kind of gory but that's what we're going for because this is the south florida zombie crawl now once you finish wrapping it you're just going to tie it in a really simple bow and the kind of ribbon we got allows us to pull it real tight like this and just cut off the edges however if you don't have a ribbon that lets you do that I would recommend putting some glue in place, double knotting it, something real simple because you really only need this for day up. Now, onto the paint. I like to use two separate paint brushes. I think it makes it a little bit easier. So you're gonna take the black and you're gonna do underneath the leaves, like so. Just paint it like this because we're gonna smudge it up later. So just paint under the black, under the leaves. This way it kind of looks like it's rotting or it's old or just plain nasty. And then you're gonna take the top of your brush, like so, and dab it on like this. Just keep dabbing, more the better, cause you know, it's it's more for effect than anything else. This is the uh, extra little something something you're gonna add to your costume to kind of make it a little different. Now you can also do this with all kinds of accessories. You can do it with hair bands, bows guys you can sweat bands that would be really cool if you kind of gross those up and then you're going to want to make sure your paint is out so let me get a little bit more like that now this is also the same kind of paint we'd use on the t-shirts earlier so you really only have to buy a few if you're going to do this now you're going to take the red also put it on the top do you see how we're slowly getting closer to look like this one so paint right there on the top. Now make sure you get enough red in there to kind of drip some inside on the leaves. Grosser the better. If you're thinking, ew, that's ugly, it's supposed to be. Now this is the part where you might want to have gloves for. Obviously, I don't. So what you're gonna do is just get in there and really muck it up. Really get your fingers in there, distress all the, the fake little leaf petals and really make sure that that color is around and it's just gross so as you can tell we have a lot of black we need a little bit more red because we need the blood all right so 
a little bit more in there. Okie dokie, and then just continue to muck it up. Now that you have your flour, if you wanna add a little something else to it, you can put some dirt on it like this. I'm sure a girl would love that. And you are all done. So now you have a corsage for your lapel, hair, dress, anything that you can really think of, you can add it in there. And the same can be done with all other kinds of accessories.